I come here to be one person, and that's it, and that's me. What kind of rookie response was that, Evan? Yeah, if, if, you want, if you want, you know, tabloid uh, type. Yes, that's what we're looking for. We're not looking for cheap tabloid responses, folks. Of course we are. I'm probably not the guy to ask for that. That's the honest to God truth. I, I train, I body build to be the best that I can possibly be, to beat myself, and that's, that's 100% the truth. Prior to stepping foot on the Olympia stage, um, I had qualified in 2009 for the Olympia uh, when I won the New York Pro. And then again in 2011 when I won the Flex Pro and placed fourth at the Arnold. And both years I decided to not uh, take advantage of that qualification uh, because I, I didn't feel that I was ready to get on that stage. I mean, it's a, it's a huge honor and something uh, that's, at least to me, far too meaningful to take so lightly as to say, well, um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do it just to do it, or I'm gonna do it just because I qualified, or I'm gonna do it just to get my feet wet. I don't think it really reflects the, 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 the prestige or the seriousness of the show. So for me, it was, okay, I need to wait until I'm ready where I feel like I can, um, have a respectable showing and I feel comfortable and, and ready to be someone that's really worthy to step on that stage. Actually, it was somebody who got me involved in the sport. Um, There's a, uh, a good buddy of mine named Ron Rich and he kind of talked me into to competing. And at the time, I didn't know what the NPC was or the IFBB. I couldn't tell you anything about, I mean, I'd been to like a couple of shows, but I was really just into training. I liked it. And Ron at, at, at 10 weeks out said, okay, I've got a show for you. You've got to do the show. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a perfect one for you. And I think you can do it. And I think you could actually win it. And I was 10 weeks out from, it was the NPC, Bev Francis Atlantic States. I dieted 10 weeks. I dieted really hard. Um, again, made you know plenty of mistakes didn't necessarily know exactly what I was doing. But anyways, I ended up winning the heavyweight class and the overall. But people ask me all the time, well, what's the most meaningful contest, you know, in your, um, th that you've done? It's funny, because probably the two New York shows I've done, my amateur, the, the first time I competed as an amateur at the Bev, and I won. And then when I did uh, my first pro show, the New York Pro in 2009, and I, I really got to say, I, I mean, I always work hard, but that one I especially busted my ass for. And there was a lot of pressure for that one because it was my rookie debut and people were, you know, it's, it's always, well, is he gonna, you know, just be another guy, you know, on the scene or is he someone who can really put a dent in the competition and actually be a good pro? And I felt like I had a lot of, a lot of people doubting me. But I, I, just the same, I had, I had plenty of people supporting me. So winning that one, I remember walking to the hotel that night uh, with Erica, and it was a uh, you know it was, it was like late spring, and it was it was a nice night, and like all like the pressure was off, and I just felt like oh my god, I'm I'm so I'm so fortunate, like I can't believe that this happened. This is just incredible. Yeah, you know there have been a few guys along the way, like when I look back to. The first time I bought a, um, a magazine, my mom had gotten me a Flex magazine uh, for, I forget what it was. It might've just been like to go along with a birthday, a birthday present. I think it was maybe my 15th birthday and Mike Matarazzo was on the cover. And it, it, I remember it grabbing my attention because there was, it was part of the spread. I think he had boxing gloves on. I remember seeing the guy's calves and I don't know, he just, he looked really cool to me. That was, I mean, that was probably my first inspiration uh, was Mike Matarazzo. Dorian Yates was someone who I found really inspiring, like someone who was, you gotta, you, you gotta really give the guy credit when you think, okay, here's a dude just training in some basement. He himself has to believe, okay, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the best. If you ask me now who I think 
I don't know. It's tough to say because Arnold is Arnold, you know? So you can't, if someone says, who's the greatest bodybuilder of all time? You kind of have to, you know, you have to say Arnold. But one guy that I think is really, really awesome is Lee Haney. He's just, he seems like, like a true gentleman, well-spoken, educated, and reading about some of the things that he did when he was a reigning Mr. Olympia, things that he did uh, with kids and... You know, the fact that he's still married to his high school sweetheart, he's just someone who you could really look up to and admire. You know, and this is all on top of the fact that he was an eight-time Mr. Olympia and had one of the greatest physiques of all time. And I think was, was, was retired and done by the time he was like 32. I mean, you know, what else could you say? I mean, Lee Haney is truly, truly awesome and somebody that I personally look up to and admire. I mean, I know that with a lot of, a lot of I guess, athletes in general, that requires intense focus and, you know, possibly uh, being selfish because what you're doing is, is a self-centered thing. You know, things like marriage and, you know, kids uh, or family should come later in life. You know, I mean, I, I have a two-year-old and, um, you know, Erica and I are engaged. I call her my wife, but <laughs> we haven't had time to plan a, a wedding yet. You I, I don't think you can always choose when it's going to be and that if it if and when it comes you you you'd say like yes thank you so much and i remember i remember the the day i got, I got the call from erica i remember hanging up the phone with her and thinking like okay i mean this was unexpected and i don't know that i'm ready but i mean this is awesome because i mean i i knew that's always what I what I wanted and what I wanted with her and that's what I wanted eventually anyways So if it came now, hey, whatever. I mean, you know, you know, it's saying if you want to make God laugh make a plan Would I trade, you know, what I have right now? For a little bit more time to you know focus on myself. Hell no. I mean Jesus how much how much more can I focus on myself? It's uh, it's 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 nuts as it is the one thing I, I like most about about having having you know those two girls in my life is that they add balance and i mean i i'm i'm happy as hell to come home uh you know to, to see the both of them one of the things that i've enjoyed most they never cease to make me proud to be associated with them because they never do anything that's off color they never do anything tacky or cheesy you know they've never asked me ever to say, you know, why wow, it'd be nice if you say you use this product, or you know, it'd be great if you could attribute this product to some type of improvement you've seen. Never once. If someone asks you about a product and you don't use it, we don't expect you to say that you do. We expect that you, you you're truthful, and that to me is worth so much because once your integrity is gone, it's gone. And with them, I, I've been able to to retain, you know, to have my word retain its its value. That's probably the one thing I appreciate most about them. In addition to the fact that aside from being one of the largest companies, you know, even on an international level and been around probably the longest out of any of the current players, you know, I don't have to talk to 50 people. It's a family owned, look, anybody who knows me know that I really like family owned stuff because what you get there versus a corporate, whether it's a gym, a restaurant, whatever, Family owned is what I like. That's where I tend to um, be comfortable. It's what I appreciate. And that's, you know, that's also what I get from them.